before when I had that yeah. experience. I, I mean, I'm just getting freaking out, freaking out a little bit thinking about it. But uh, yeah, so whatever this thing was, man, I, I, I think that I saw it. So my question is then, if, if it's kind of like if it's got this machine that if there's like this technological aspect or the spiritual aspect connected with technology, if, to, to get out of the – once you leave this wheel, where are we going? Like, are we going back into, are we going into a different solar system? Are we going into You're not a different going planet? anywhere different dimension? if you stay with me. Planets? I mean, we ascend we into next? new what earth, new about, heaven. You know, what do you think about the, the, the Baba Chakra and the Yama? You know, Rex, I, I'm kind of a one horse, one trick pony in that regard. I know a lot about Christianity, a lot about the Bible, and not a whole lot about you know, other stuff. And just, just a dabbler's interest and experience and expertise in what you're talking about. But to me, the big question is not so much where do we go? And for me, if I get a choice of where I want to go, that's more important to me than where I actually end up. I want to be able to be divine, sovereign, and free, to be able to make a choice, to be able to make... That's what you do. You claim your sovereignty. That's why Jesus is king of kings. Jesus is king of sovereign kings. If you're selling your soul to Satan, then you're not sovereign. You're a slave to Satan, okay? So anyway, just saying. So you claim your sovereignty and you're well on your way to being able to decide where you go. That's why I say when you enter everlasting life, your covenant is with God. You are one with God. It's your choice. You make these decisions. You don't have to die of a disease, and you won't. Um, you don't have to go any certain way. You don't want to be pushed. You and God are making the choices. You are calling the shots. Jesus is king of sovereign kings. That doesn't mean Jesus controls you once you claim your sovereignty. It means that he guides you. Just saying. Make a decision myself and give me some choices or better yet, let me create choices. And is it so much where we go or is it more where we create, decide to create to go? Imagination, man. And, and what, what does the, the Bible say? That when we go to the New Testament, Jesus is talking to his disciples. Now this is what, my what favorite is part. About? Okay, because this guy comes up against Jesus constantly. My message is that Jesus existed all throughout time and has incarnated throughout humanity 32 times to be exact, okay? I can give you a list of who that is. I think that I will be giving that list very soon um, as I update it a little bit more. But it's really cool, really exciting, and we will be able to see that these are the slain kings throughout time. And um, martyred, slain kings that have lived throughout humanity. But this, this guy, Jeffrey, um, he loves to rip the Jesus of Nazarene apart. Okay, my message is that Jesus, the true God, Jesus's words were stolen and put in the Bible, especially in the New Testament. Revelation is a different story because that was written by that's a different story. So, but when we're talking about the New Testament and the red letters, Jesus's words were stolen and put in there and put into the Nazarene's mouth. That's why people are so drawn to them. But then they're mixed in with very dangerous ideas that will keep you from ascending. And you've got to be really, really in a clear understanding of this, these facts that I'm bringing, which are very confusing, to be able to see where this took place. I can see it clearly. But now he's going to say that for the sake of the argument, 
he's going to use it now to his benefit. This is where the church of Satan has failed already, and they're going to continue to fail. The afterlife and, and where we go. You know, the thing that comes to mind first is he says, and you know what he said or didn't say, you know, there's, we'll just suspend all that for this and not talk about historical this, historical that. We'll just talk about the concepts as if they you know, really are written and they really are real. And Jesus said to them, the thing that comes to my mind in this discussion is, he says, in my father's house, there's many mansions, but that's a bad, bad translation. What it really says, in my father's house, there's many rooms. And the implication within the Greek is that there's a lot of different ways that you... No, I define that for you all the time. It is true the fifth dimension the fifth world is god's mansion is heaven on earth is the beginning of sovereignty and being reconnected as your own sovereign god or goddess and once you enter there's endless directions you can go endless rooms that is correct but that means you know It means that you are sovereign and you are free to choose. You can go. There's a lot of different places. That you but not until you ascend out of Saturn. Do you understand what I'm saying? You enter the fifth realm, Jupiter realm, once you leave the rings of Saturn. Once you leave the prison of Saturn. The door out of Saturn is purely magnetic and you open it with pure electricity the veils of Saturn are magnetic the prison door is magnetic that's why I have a problem with people like Eric Briggs speaking about magnets 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 they're trying to keep you in Saturn wake up come on you guys I can't sit around and watch this anymore and I'm not going to. I'm not waiting for anybody. You can wind up. And the goal, the winner of the game is the guy or the girl that gets to the end of her, his or her life and gets to say, I want door one. I want door C. Instead of getting herded and kicked into a certain door. That's kind of what's hidden there beneath the, uh, the text and in between the lines of the text. So many rooms, many places, many ways you can go, and the winner gets to pick where they want to go and doesn't get driven. The winner is the one that realizes that Jesus is the king of sovereign kings and that Jesus is just trying to bring us into the higher realms out of Saturn. But these guys are trying to keep you in there. Um, and like I just mentioned, Eric Briggs love his ideas and he's talking about the mother, the mother, the mother. That was their back pocket that they pulled out, you know, their last trick because Eric's speaking about the mother and who has him on. But uh, last damn pot, best damn podcast, John. Well, John, you are going to have to make a choice here. Because I see you going back and forth. And I see you switching things right where it matters. And I'm bringing the truth and I'm giving you the answers to the keys of the few things that you're changing. Um, I love that Eric speaks about the mother, but all you guys are speaking about is magnets. Okay. I'm not signed in, so. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, so let's see what this is called here, this show from this evening. And this makes me nuts because this is the information that I bring, right? But it's switched around. And Eric Briggs and I spoke a lot personally uh, about a year and a half ago. And I kind of realized that it wasn't what I thought it was. So I stepped away. He stepped away from me. And here we are again. He's coming out and they're doing a show together. And it's called A Tale of Two Magnets, The Golden Age. So, don't throw the baby that I bring out with the bath water of muck. I love you guys. I hope you forgive me for having to do this.